10 a.m. Eastern time, the Tiger Technician's Hour. Don't miss the program. And if you haven't tried out the opening call, folks, Basil's Daily Trading Service, outstanding newsletter. Check it out under the newsletter tab at the front page of TFNN. You can hit the subscribe button. You can sign up for a month for 149 you can sign up for six months for $6.95. That's a savings of $199 or 22.2%. Or you go for the year at $11.95. You save almost $600. All of those come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're thinking about keeping that subscription, which I encourage you to do, give it a try. Think about the six month or the year, and you get a ton of awesome webinars with that as well. You got one from December you just did, talking about different equities, many different webinars in there. Uh, and boy, we got quite a market, quite a day. Basil Chapman, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Tommy. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I was just talking about uh, to Costa, saying, man, you guys are getting some beautiful weather up there. And uh, we playing you know, any I tennis yet in February? I snuck in a game of tennis. I could have played it outdoors or I played it indoors, but it is really nice out there. That's yeah. good to hear. Nice. So, no. uh, yeah, you were talking about the market. So I want you to just say that um, you, you're absolutely correct. This is a, a really, it's an unusual market in the sense that the leadership has actually continued to hold very well. And usually when you get these big spikes, especially after earnings, you get some kind of sell-off. But what I'm looking at here is, you see this chart on the left, so let me just show you. This is the Dow chart. On the left is the daily, in the middle is the weekly, and on the right is the monthly. If we go from the right, which is the monthly, we're in leg C. In the Chapman methodology, we try to identify the lowest low bar and count every successively higher peak, alphabetize them uppercase on the way up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's at that fourth highest peak, D, that other things can happen. So that says... Monthly chart, only in leg C, you can't get a, a peak D for a few months. So that's very positive. The weekly okay. charts, only in leg B, with all the, look at this, nine period moving average oh way over the 14. The, look at the 200 period moving average at 32,500. And yeah, we are at 38,944. <laughs> that does say we kind of overbought, but that's just a visual thing right now. The MACD is still very strong. Stochastic's fabulous at 95.53. This is the weekly, but there's a little sign here that says the on balance volume is overbought. That's the one indicator I use as overbought or oversold. And it says, got to be a little careful. That's on the weekly chart, but it's only in leg B. That says you can't get a peak D for at least another four or five weeks. Okay. okay. So that's the, the weekly. Now the daily. You see this, what I call the Chapman inside track. Uh, this is this little channel. It's a repellent or a propellant line. So this pink line says every time that the price has gotten to that level, it hasn't been able to break out above the green line. So this little mini channel, like a, like it's a little tube here, is like a repellent zone. So we, we've taken a little insurance policy here. We do have long positions from way back, back in uh, March of 2020, and then again in October of 2022. Uh, we've kept those. Now what's really important about this is that you can see that the nine period, this little green line here is still positive. And as a result, that says, for it to turn pink, in other words, if it go from green to uh, pink, it would have to cross under that black period moving average, which is the 14, and it's got this inside track propellant zone right here. So a lot has to happen. So um, my thinking here is um, we don't have, at this point, we've got yields in the upper range, but they haven't broken out. That's usually one of the, one of the triggers to say, oops, the market's getting nervous, but we aren't quite there yet. Number two is, Crude oil is getting real. I'm watching crude oil very closely. It seems to me that um, from I'm getting a, in screening, I'm getting a number of very low priced oil and gas service companies that seem to be doing very well. So I'm watching this really closely. And the other thing is from out of the blue, you never know where bad news comes. And we just haven't had. And that's one of the reasons why I felt that if we do have a pullback, and I think we're very close to having a pullback. It'll be more in the four to eight percent range, and that's what I'm thinking right now. But we actually haven't got it yet. I do have a technique that says there's a Chapman wave two bar reversal in the Dow uh, from the 39,282 to slightly lower high the next day, and today's got a red candle. But these are, I mean, this is like an eye blink. It's like nothing. Uh, so I'm looking at it and I'm saying some of the technicals in the daily are not as good as the weekly. They start to deteriorate. And it's only this 914 that's still strong. So I'm watching this very closely because from the mix I'm looking at, I think that we can see that there's 
there's a possibility that we're bumping into some kind of resistance. Look, here's the exact same up channel. This is a, what I call the inside track repellent zone. Once again, look how many times this line, this pink line has been hit and it can't nice. close above. If it does close above the green line, that would be up in the 5140s or 50s, and that'll be very positive. So that's what I'm watching. But so far, it's been repelled there. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, in, uh, for instance, we still have Microsoft from 338. We've also had a trading position that we took off. They took nice, nice profits. In fact, we took profits um, 80, 60 cents from the all-time high. 420.82 was the all-time high. We took, we took uh, a trading position. We took a little bit off at that 420, uh, 420.20 level. So it's still holding pretty well, but it's it's a sign here that says the upside's getting a little, it's a struggle at this particular point in some of the stocks. And then I've been talking about these round numbers. Uh, all I can say is that it's a work in progress, but look at this, this is a, a SMCI. This is super micro, micro um, Supermicro, it made an all-time high at 1,077.87. I've had to make them gray because it's covering, I, I must have at least 10 or 12 round numbers, either at the high, the open or the close. Um, and uh, it, I, it's going to tell me something very soon, but it's so unusual for, yeah, you've got a stock at 850 people were paying, you know, a round number 945.00. Here's 995. Today, the low, the, the high has been 869.00. So normally, when I'm looking at one or two of these things occurring, uh, like ARM hit the exact round number at 140, 164 the other day, it hasn't broken above it. It usually says to me, just be careful on the downside because someone paid exact. They weren't even prepared to type in the the decimals. They just went right there, 164. I want in. I want out. So you can imagine the person who's bought in at 164, seeing it go Oof. down to 115 in a few days. So I'm just looking at this and saying, the market is telling me that there's a little bit of hysteria in some of the action. And normally there has to be some kind of a pause, a breather when that happens as that particular sector takes a breather and other sectors start to come on. So we, we're in very interesting positions. We've got what I call under the radar stocks that might not be influenced if the market does pull back. I do expect Microsoft to pull back some more. I'd like to, we'd like subscribers to get in uh, for another, at least a trade trading opportunity, even though we bought much lower down, just in terms of trading. But we're in a very diverse portfolio, and I like the fact that the financials, the XLF, has done very well so far. And that just says to me, there's some, there's some good in infrastructure in this market, but you must be sick, some kind of a pullback. And folks, if you want to check that out on a daily basis, check out Basil Chapman's outstanding newsletter. You can do it right under the newsletter tab for the opening call on TFNN. Basil, I appreciate it so much. You got Amazon in that Dow now, I was going to say as well, which is yeah, pretty I cool. I love it. Yeah, great. Thanks so much, Basil. We'll be watching <laughs> tomorrow, you. man. Have a great night. You we'll too. be right back, folks, with Tim Ward. Stay tuned. to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some